Jeff says that you have to start the entire field on one set of tires. This gives people the option to switch as necessary according to conditions. Oh, and look at this. On the pace lap, Jill DeFerrin, and that looks like damage to the front wing, in fact, all the way across. Is that the front wing there, Jill? Yeah, it's, it looks like they've gotten that wing good. Yeah, you can see he took off both the right side end plate and severely damaged the left they side end plate. They'll have to replace the wing. Come on in, we'll change it. Come on in. Front row well aligned. Here we go. Look at that spray. Ahead is that most dangerous first turn. Leaders are through. Rest of the field bottles up. One car off, sliding backwards. And Kenny Brick gets in trouble, too. The points leader all the way back in 22nd spot now, trying to find a place to reverse direction. And whoever that was that went around backwards uh, might have been one of the cool cars, might have been Senji Nakano. We'll try to find out for you. Obviously got it going as well. Kenny Brick came through the... So he doesn't lose a lap. He's off the jack. He's going terrific job by the oh. Penske team. And the full course caution, I'm going to guess, is going to come out on this. That's Mimo Gidley right there in his first yellow, run. Yellow, yellow, Chris. It's Zanardi, and it also looked like Max Wilson at the back there. A little hard to tell. Definitely Zanardi and Gidley. And that would be back in the back of the field. Gidley replacing Nicholas Manassi oh. and Tony Kanan involved as well. Very first lap. Crossed yellow flags out at the side. From Mimo Gidley's in-car. So you can see Kanan off the left side there. He says, all right, I'll go by this way. And as Zanardi hits the other direction, he clips the back of Kanan. Takes all three of them out in one shot. Also off course is Elio Castroneves. And this one comes under the caution. That give you some idea how slick it is out there? Well, that's, that's the big problem here. You've got to have a lot of luck. You have to some patience and discretion. As we saw in the Indy Light support race, almost every car in the series went off with the exception of one. We've seen most of the cars in this series go off on the first lap. You can see Elio just got a little bit wide, a little bit too fast, and slides off the outside. Yeah, but he also got a little bit of barrier. Hopefully that didn't damage the car too much. He bounced kind of back off of it. Now we have full course yellow because uh, full course course yellow Easy because you Cindy Nakano <laughs> has spun setting crossways in the circuit. Pace car already has its lights on and let ready to pick up the field. First of all, what happened to Tora Takagi? We have that for you. Well, you can see him off there in the festival curves as they entered. You can see him here. Watch what happens now. He makes contact. Quick snap spin after making contact, it looks like, with one of the team green cars there. It was a little hard to see. And you can see as a result in there. Now we'll watch from onboard. You can see how bad the visibility is. He's on the brakes, turns in, gets really wide now, puts him out of position for the left-hander, comes back in, hits Michael Andretti. One of the Team Green cars kills the motor, doesn't get the clutch in soon enough. Now watch, we, yep, there you have it. And right at the end of that was when Sinji also got yep. it loose. Tries to draft and up behind Max. Max protects the inside line, goes, whoa, he's never gonna make that corner. I'll just turn in behind him. Cristiano goes down the cutoff. He can't improve time or position, so Cristiano waits for Max, slots in back behind him. No penalty there. Max Wilson taking a shortcut through the gravel trap, keeps it running. Uh, you see Michael Andretti with a quick 360. Under caution, and while we were away from the Portland 200, the Card FedEx Championship Series, Cristiano Damata ran up and tapped Max Pappas. So he sits by the edge of the course now. Dixon is up to second place. Here it is, Parker. Yeah, watch Cristiano Damata. The second car on your screen starts to accelerate. Max is slowing down. Funk, not quite a love tap, and then he gets high centered on the edge of the track. Okay, explain it. <laughs> he, he was your student. I uh, want to hear it. Uh, not during that incident, he wasn't. Well, is it Full possible? Course caution. Cars head down into the festival curves on the restart. Tracy sliding by. We can see Dario going by. And there, looks like a nice punch from behind for Max Wilson on the turn in. Puts and also his option to that team. So that's a little threat that just floats out there. It's just what a driver doesn't want. They've done it again, full course caution this time for Tora Takagi. You gotta remember the competitors like Michelle Jourdain Jr. off course. 
And that one section we saw coming off the festival, that is polished concrete down there, so it is very much like ice when it's got a layer of rain on it. I'm going to show you what happened to Michael Andretti as he came to the start. We saw Montoya do that a couple of years ago with exactly the same results. Spin and keep on trucking. Full course caution once again. He said it must have been a big impact. We'll take a look at it here. Here's Tracy on the launch out. John Kerry just going down the pit road. Man! Yeah, he went out all the way to the what we'd call the high speed lane. They're supposed to come out and join, but I wonder why. <laughs> Well, you'd have to get inside Paul's head to figure that one out, and that's a place I'm not willing to go at this particular point. After such a good Cristiano DeMana that leads the field down, the teammates. Wow! And this time, Dario Franchitti. Dario Franchitti. And that forces a couple of cars to go through the shortcut. They'll be fine as long as they just maintain their position relative to the field. Going down the inside once again. Watch the car there. And that's the hardest thing. You're on the brakes. Oh, my goodness. We're back live. This is Kenny Breck sliding off. You also saw as we went away to that replay that uh, Elio Castro Nevis was making a move. Jill DeFerrin, we also have a report and a quick off of the circuit. With her to behind him, the Penske cars, though lined up right there. Oh, here's Senji Nakano, of course. Can he get back on safely? Should be able to. Oh, he's got some damage there to the left front, though, Paul. Yeah. I can't say enough about Max Wilson and this Arcero Blair team. Oh, guess what? <laughs> but, but I'll say that in a minute. Jordan Jr. and Tagliani both off and both back on. Good. Maybe they can stay green. That would be different. Great. Is that it gives them the opportunity to show oh, we're what looking they really for Mauricio Guzman. That's coming onto the back straightaway. Usually what happens here at Portland is if you hook a wheel off the outside, the car will snap right back to the inside. Well, I have to choose left. Even went over the curb with collect by. Well, they're gonna have to go full course caution there, though the field strings by across the line and Paul Tracy off as well they were about to give him a penalty but they kind of penalized himself and we'll show you how uh, at least one of these guys got there Mauricio Guzman over getting the wall on the right side as they turn for the back straight away wings damaged so is the right rear and I'd spec the right front as well it sounded from his radio conversation like he had help, though, Paul. It sounded like, oh, here we go. Oh, uh, now we understand uh, it. He tried to go up over the curb to miss Tracy. There just wasn't enough room and caught him on the way around. Oh, those are some very expensive noises, too. Yes. Full